Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So we've got we've got Mick in here. We've got Mary from the Hunt Sisters. We've got Hot Carol and Roberta. Who else? We got Marcy. James, of course. Hello, Kim. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Mandy. Boy, we got a whole bunch of folks in here, and I am so excited. Yay. Uh, quick little shout out. Big thanks to all y'all that ordered or bought little mystery boxes. Um, some people have already started to get theirs in, and they're pretty happy. So I'm just saying, I do have a few left. Uh, I have $100 boxes that I'm, I'm selling for $115, and then I have $25 boxes that I'm selling for $35. And when I say $100 box, there's like $400, well, probably a lot more than that, $400 worth of product in there. Um, so far, nobody has been disappointed as far as I know. And the $25 ones, those are like $100 worth of product in there. So, yes, hello, Crafty Susan. We got Veronica, hello. Yes, smash that like button, that's right. Hey, Carrie, Carrie just did a live for Trinity on Instagram. I think you can go back and watch those, right? I'm not sure, but... Uh, Carrie nailed it, and it was a gorgeous card, so if you have time, go check that out. Hi, Rita from Ohio. Oh, you're at work. <laughs> well, hi, Candy. <laughs> Thanks for joining. I won't say a word. Don't worry. Hi, Amanda from Pear Blossom Press. Hello, Melissa. Hello, everybody. All right, so um, we're going to be making a fun fold card today, and here are the products that we are using. I decided to pull in some Lawn Fawn because... I mean, that set just makes me happy. It's so dang cute. So we're gonna be using this one. This one is called Really High Five. Hi, Melinda. Oh, yes, Melinda. I got to meet up with Melinda yesterday because we're both here in Huntsville. So I'm glad you liked it, Melinda. That makes me so happy. Hi, Jen. Hi, Kim. Yes, yes, Carrie was live over on Instagram. Oh, perfect. It's over on the Facebook page now. So head over there and you can check it out. All right, and then I'm also using the Modern Embossed Rectangle Stacks die. For a card like this, you're going to want some sort of um, shape because that's how this one's going to going to work. And then I'm going to pull in a couple of stencils. This one's the Puffy Cloud Layers from Trinity Stamps, and then we have the Spring Day Scene Builder. And then, of course, I have some cardstock. Hi, Wendy from Florida. And then um, I have a couple of embellishments. And then I also have some distress inks that I've decided to pull in. So all of this so far is linked down below in the description box if you want to check any of that out. All right. <laughs> yes, thank you, Kim. You guys always square me away, and I'm always so grateful. All right, we're going to start with our stenciling because, yes. Hi, Darlene from Tempe. All right, so first of all, I'm going to pull out the grass because with my seam... We want some grass. Uh, I told you, Mick, there would be a lawn. All right, and so I'm going to go ahead and tape my piece down because I don't trust myself not to get it all over the place. That is just me. That is just me. Um, but yes, and this panel is a little bit smaller than an A2 size. It is four inches by five and a quarter, so just a little bit smaller. Hi, Nina. I'm glad you made it, too. Helene from Sweden. That's awesome. Is it late there? It's got to be late there. All right, and this is a slimline stencil, but we're going to be not slimlining it. All right. So since I'm using a little bit softer green, I'm going to try to clean off my brush a little bit. Yeah, Sweden. That's awesome. And I'm just going to, I'm going to just hold it in place. And we're going to start off soft. This is Bundled Sage, the Distress Ink Bundled Sage. I decided I wanted this to look a little bit more like a sunset scene. So, and then I'm going to shift it a little bit just because I want to have a couple areas where it is going to be a little bit different. All right. All right, so we've got enough grass there. Set that off to the side, clean that up later. And then we're gonna bring in our clouds. So like I said, I wanna build a little scene here. I know, Veronica, aren't these stencils wonderful? You're not that late. 
Oh, it's late for you, yes. Late for you. Oh, you're so sweet. Worth waiting up for. Well, hopefully it is. <laughs> hopefully it is. All right, so I am going to do these colors. I wanna start kind of here at the bottom and work my way up. And so this was the sunset. I was kind of, I pulled these colors out and I thought, all right, we're gonna make this work. Angelique from the Netherlands. It's late there too. And Ray is here. Oh my gosh, Ray, I feel pretty honored. I got a visit from Ray Davis. That's pretty awesome. Ray Davis is James's good friend. So anyway, they were just chatting on the phone and Jim was like, I got to get going. But uh, Cassie's doing a live. So Ray, being the sweet that he is, jumped on. That's sweet. All right. We're working our way up. And I kind of want to bring some of that color down. So I'm using what little I have on my brush and going to bring it down into that cloud. So you can kind of see that there. Now I do have to wipe off my stencil. Keep in mind that this is one of those that you can turn. It's another slimline stencil, but you can use it on all kinds of cards, obviously. All right, then we're going to bring in some purple. Should we do that? Let's do this one. And this is Dusty Concord. Hi, Michelle and Mary. We've got Zoe. Oh my gosh, Lydia. Lydia Fiedler's on here. Now I feel, oh, wow. How are you? My goodness. I feel like we got all kinds of celebrities in here. Okay, moving on. So once again, just working our way a little softly up. And then I'm gonna bring that color down just a little bit with what I have on my brush. All right, I like that. And then we'll grab out my pink. And Yvonne! And Terry. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, all right. So moving up, this next color we're gonna grab is Worn Lipstick. And once again, doing what we were doing, just kind of coming in softly, start on the stencil and work your way up. And this cardstock that I'm using is just a smooth white cardstock. So just, that's another. Oh, you're so sweet. Golly, you're sweet. I don't know if I would say master, but I certainly have a good time. All right, now that I'm going to a lighter color, this one is called Tattered Rose. I'm gonna clean off my brush a little bit more. All right. Oh, yes, that's, yeah, thank you, James, for squaring me away. I sat there and said I had one, and, or I had a couple of those left, and then I didn't tell you how you could let me know. All right, so this one's Tattered Rose. We'll just blend that up and blend it down into the color right below it. And then I am, I'm pretty happy with that. So now we're done with all of our ink blending. And now I wanna come in and do some coloring. So as I said before uh, on the previous lives, when I choose to do a stamp set, I just to save a little bit of time for y'all, I stamp them out, even die cut them and then just stick them back in there. So that way you can see what we got going on. So this piece is done for now. We will have to run that through the die cutting machine, but it's done for now. All right, and um, again, that stamp set is really high five. It's not too late to watch a nice video. Well, I am so glad you're here. I'm glad y'all are here. Um, I look forward to this on Fridays. This has been wonderful. This has uh, just become part of our family routine a little bit here. All right, I'm gonna color the bear first. And I'm doing two color blends here. So that first color is some E17. Yeah, I love these little lawn fawn images because I feel like they make coloring a little easier since they're a little bit smaller. Then I don't feel like I have to think about it too much. And then, yeah. So what does everybody have going on this weekend? We are going to go camping next weekend, so we do have some prep work to do. My daughter is heading out of town 
It's just going to be all kinds. Oh, Mary, you switched to yours. Thanks, Mary. I appreciate that. Mary Wilson. All right, and then we're bringing in some E19. Now, what I, I've said before, um, I like the original Copics. I think they're great. I have a lot of, I have Chow, and I also have Sketch. This is the original. I don't really care for the chisel nib, so I took the chisel nib out, and I put in a brush nib. And you can't just buy a regular brush nib. You have to buy regular or a brush nib for the originals. So... And I am just putting in my shading wherever I think it would look good. And then we'll come in with our lighter color again. Yes, I am not a wizard colorer, Lydia, I agree. So that is one of the reasons I love the smaller images sometimes. I just feel like it takes away some of the scare factor of coloring. Okay, and then for our bunny, I want this one to be a fairly light little bunny. So we've got some C1 and C3. Since our background is mostly cool tones, I decided I would go with more of cool here. Oh, thanks, Nina. Well, you know what? Y'all make it that comfortable. It has been such a blessing to get to do them. So uh, I, I love hanging out with y'all. You're babysitting your fur niece and nephew, Tracy. Oh, you're scrapping with, scrapbooking with some friends, Jen? Yeah, it's still raining here. Oh, yeah, heavy rains, I bet. Making videos and doing the, oh, that's right. Carrie has the crafty roulette. Let everybody know about that one. She's driving Lyft. Yeah, she's been doing great with Lyft. That's awesome. All right, so I'm starting with some C1. I may not need the C3 because I want this bunny to be nice and light. And so I'm just going to, Stick with that. Now I did. I do have an RV11, and I'm gonna use that on the nose. Oh, I forgot our little bear's belly. So I'm gonna come back in with E11 for his belly, and some E13. Prepping for your trip to Georgia next week. <gasps> in Duluth, oh my goodness, that's like, Oh my goodness. We're going to be camping next weekend in Helen. <laughs> I don't know how far away that is. <laughs> but now I'm like, oh my goodness, can we make a detour? Uh, what day, Amanda? What day will you be at the Scrapbook Expo? Oh, your box got there, Veronica. Yay! Hopefully you are happy with everything that is in there and nothing is a repeat. You just got home from a meeting. Oh, from meeting your new grandson, Melissa. Congratulations! That's awesome, how fun. Oh, grandbabies, how awesome. All right, that same belly color that I used for the bear, we're gonna use on our mouse. So he looks pretty light, but that's okay. And then I'll bring in the E13. Sip and create tonight. Ooh, that sounds fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. I always wanted to do one of those. Actually, when we lived in Fort Leavenworth, I had somebody ask me if I'd be willing to teach one of those at, out of my house. And I was like, oh my gosh, I would love to if we could get enough people. Um, but I also didn't have all the supplies. So, <laughs> uh, Yeah, I need, to, I need to check that out, Carrie. I need to check that out. All right, so we're also gonna make his little belly pink as well just because I like the idea of it and his ears. Okay, moving on to the trampoline. I've got more cool tones. We're gonna use C7 and C10. Wednesday through Sunday. All right, good to know. Good to know, Amanda. That would be so cool to meet you. I don't even know how far Helen is from Duluth, but I'm guessing it's probably far enough that I may not be able to go. We're going camping with my mom and her husband, and I'm so excited. Painting happy stones in two birdhouses. Oh, do you do the rock painting? I have seen some amazing rock painting. People just blow me away with their talent. Golly, people are so crafty and talented. And I would think that'd be a very hard surface to paint on since it's rounded. Hi, Sharon. 
yes, painting is always fun. Okay, and then bringing in our, that's what I wanted the C3 for. And then we'll bring in our C4. Okay, for presents and hats, we're going with the same color here. I decided to do B95 and 97. I know that seems a little bit dark, but I wanted to kind of stick with that same thing. Yeah, I love Lawn Fawn stamps. Stamps are, their stamps are so cute. Oh, babysitting your granddaughter. That's awesome. How fun. I'll leave this hat, white and blue, this present. I probably should have done a little bit brighter colors, but that's okay. I could bring in this pink. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. All right, almost done here. And then we can start working on that assembly of a fun fold. I have been just loving fun folds lately. It's just something different. And if you are new to fun folds, this one today is a fairly easy one. You don't need a whole lot. Okay, I'm happy with that. So let's zoom out. I'm going to remember to do it. And then we need to pull back out. We're going to get started here. Blueberries in your backyard. Oh my gosh, to have blueberries in your backyard. Oh yeah, what is Nina do? Rock painting and then leave them hidden at campsites. <gasps> what a fun idea, Nina. Oh, maybe I should bring that up to my mom. That would be fun. Ooh, we could have a good time. All right, so what you're gonna need for this fun fold is you're going to need one piece of regular cardstock. And now you can adapt these sizes depending on the type of card you wanna make. I'm gonna make an A2. So for this piece, it needs to be um, five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. And then we're going to score it at four and a quarter, so it will be an A2 size card. So there's that. All folded and ready. Okay, now this one's going to go on the inside, and this one measured, and I wrote these things down, this one measures five and a quarter inches by eight inches. So it is definitely a little bit smaller. And this one we're going to score. Oh, you're going camping in California. Nice. How fun. Oh, I bet that'll be really pretty. Uh, so this one that measures five and a quarter by eight inches, we are scoring it at four inches and six inches. So here's our four inch mark. And here is our six inch mark. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to Fold it like this. Make sure that is good and scored. And then this one's going to fold back. So I want that one folded back over on top. All right. And it's going to end up going on the inside here, like so. All right, but before we put that in there, I'm going to attach this down. Oh, I was wrong. I measured this one a little differently. So instead of it being four inches by five and a quarter, it's, no, it's, it is four inches and it's five and a half. So you'll notice there's a little border on the left and right hand side. So I'm gonna attach this down. I'm gonna use liquid glue just because that's my favorite to use. And this stuff sets up pretty nicely when you all sent this to me. So, ever since I've been using it, I've been loving it. And I do have a refill coming, just waiting on that. It has been lost at the post office since the 1st of July. Okay, so that's on there. I'm gonna let that set for just a couple of minutes, or seconds, and then we're gonna pull this piece, or our, uh, our next piece out. Beautiful drive, yes. Yes, we used to live in, I don't think I want it to be that. We lived in California, and my in-laws all live there. We don't want it that big either. We want it to be maybe even smaller than that. So let's just kind of see how big I want it. 
because this is going to be in the grass. This is going to be on there. And I'm going to have a couple little folks jumping. That's what we're going to have. All right. Thank you, Mary. Thank both Marys. Thank you, Mary Wilson and Mary Hunt. Sure, absolutely. So there's our background. That's our little scene. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take this die. And this die is called the Modern Embossed Rectangle Stacks die. So it's going to leave a little bit of a embossed border around the edge. I need to run this through my die cutting machine and I need both pieces to be completely intact. So I'm going to use heffy tape rather than washi tape because I don't always have the best luck with washi tape. And I'm eyeballing it so it's not, it, you know, it may not be perfectly centered but that's okay. All right, so now I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine over here. So I'll be, I'm right over here. And my die cutting machine is way too big to stick in the camera. and that did go through two layers. So if you have issues with that, just make sure you try and run it through a couple of times. All right. Carefully peel that away. Thank you. Is it Ky Cairo? That's a beautiful name, or is it Cairo? That is beautiful. All right, so that worked. Very happy about that. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about with the embossed edging. So check that out. Do you see that embossing around the edge? Ooh, that is such a cool finishing touch. I love that. Yes. Well, hopefully, Sharon. Yeah, I eyeball everything. I do. It's just, it's just how I do it. Okay, so next thing to do. I'm done with my embossed piece. We don't need that anymore. Stick that off to the side. This is our folded piece. And this is basically just going to come in here and sit on there. All right. I am going to go ahead and put it down. And the only part you want to glue is this back part. Okay. And... Just centering that up so that I have a nice little border around that too. And then this is going to be able to show through there. See what I'm talking about? Yes, they're very beautiful dies, Tracy. I am a big fan. That's beautiful. Okay. It's so Cairo. That's beautiful. Golly, that's beautiful. Okay. So then the next thing I'm going to want to do is stick this back in there. All right, this is how our fun fold's going to work. I'm going to put glue through here, and I'm also just going to put it right on this edge because I want to make sure that I have it down. And for me, the easiest way to do these is to glue like that. Bye, Mary. I hope you have a great weekend. And then I'm just going to stick this right over the top like so. And we're going to let that dry a second because then we can start attaching all of our little pieces. But when you open it, and this is the part I just love. Oh, you've never. OK. All right. Well, Sharon, I'm glad you're here and I'm glad that uh, you're here to check it out. So this is this is what it looks like all closed fits. It's going to fit perfectly in an A2 size envelope. But then when you open it up. I love it. Oh, my gosh, I love it. Yes. Oh, OK. So let's start attaching down our little pieces. We could use foam tape or foam squares if you'd like to. And I might, I think I'm going to, if I can find them. I have some, I have some I think. Well, not in there I don't. All right, I have some of these. I have a few of these left over. Normally for something like this I would want white, but I don't have any of those, I'm completely out. So I'm going to, and I'm waiting, that's in that order as well as more foam tape. So I'll just put a couple back here. <laughs> Thanks, Lydia. Hi, Tasha. Still at work, but you couldn't resist. Well, thanks, Tammy. I'm so glad you're here. Don't get in trouble. <laughs> Thank you. I saw this somewhere, I'm sure. I did not make this up. So someone somewhere has done this before, I'm sure. 
I definitely cannot take credit. All right, and then we're gonna have our little mouse and our little bunny. So I want them like they're jumping and everybody has to have a hat. This is gonna be a birthday card. And then I also have a present. So let's put our little hats on our guys first. Yes, I like it. Hi, Dawn. And PJB Stampers here. Thanks, Tasha. Hey, Nancy. <laughs> You're so sweet. And then he needs a hat. And he needs a hat. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. These images. Okay. And I'm actually gonna have him holding this present and something is stuck to my arm, there we go. So he's gonna be holding the present because he's gonna be on the inside. So I want him holding this present. And then, oops, we're gonna have these little guys bouncing up with some foam tape. Wherever I put the foam tape, there we go. We'll just keep using these little ones because they work perfectly. I even have one already cut for his little ear. That was serendipitous. And then his little body. We only need a couple for him. All right. Keep our little mess going. So I wanted him up in the air pretty high. And he's going to be down here jumping. All right, now there is a stamp in here. I'm gonna see, I probably should have stamped first, but sometimes hindsight, right? This little stamp makes it look like, and it's two pieces actually, if I can get it off my thumb. So let's see, to make it look like they just bounced. So you could do something like that and something like that if you wanted. Let's try that. Give it a little bit of motion as if it doesn't have enough, right? Just using a little bit of black ink. Yes, I am, James. I'm definitely gonna do something on the inside. Normally, I try to do all the stuff on the inside first, but I got too excited. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna put these back here so I don't lose those because those are tiny little stamps. And then the sentiment I need is jumping by to say, and then there are some little ellipses. So we're gonna put those down, try to get those picked up, which may not be super successful. So I pardon, pardon my head, because that's a tiny little stamp too. You know what, that's good. Um, I do have another little piece somewhere that I may have lost that I was gonna use for sentiment. It was here somewhere. There it is, there it is. Nope, that's not the one. Oh well, gone forever in the craft room. So, nope, I found it. See, this is why I try to be organized ahead of time, I'm telling you folks. Thank you, Mary, I appreciate that. Oh, hi, Kitty. I know, so brave. <laughs> uh, story of my life, I'm also one of those where I'm like, eh, and then we'll just Bob Ross it or something. Jumping up to say, so we'll just stick that down. And this is going to be up here. And I'm just gonna trim that with a little bit of an angle. So we'll attach that up top. I want to trim it down just a little bit more though. And so we're going to put it in the guillotine trimmer and hope for the best. Hope that I get it as straight as can be. And that's, that is pretty good. Shocking myself over here. 
Thank you, Alana, how are you? All right, and then this one, we're just gonna stick down with some liquid glue. Jumping by to say, that won't be the end of the outside. I do have a couple of embellishments I wanna grab, but so then in here, I'm gonna put these away. So sometimes it's better if I make the cards ahead of time. I have not done that yet. This, I'm, I mean, I cut all the pieces, but I have the idea in my head and just hope that it's all gonna work out. <laughs> so far, so good. All right, we're gonna put happy birthday in there. Because this is a birthday card. All right, that worked. All right. And then our little bear is just going to be in here. I want him, I think I'm just gonna put him right here. All right, like he's jumping too. He's excited. Okay, so close it up. This stuff just makes me so happy. And I'm just so excited that y'all are here. This is so fun. Did I miss somebody? Okay, all right, so here are the embellishments. These are new from Trinity Stamps. They have a whole bunch of them, and I just have the, um, if you're interested in it, linked down below as far as, this one's called Amber Glow, this orange one, and this one is Amethyst Accent, and what I have is like the sparkle, and it'll take you right to the page with all the new ones, because there's a bunch of pretty colors. And so I figured I would just grab a couple. We're gonna put these into our little tray. Just a couple and use the Trinity Picket tool. I know Jennifer McGuire talked about this tool not that long ago, and as far as I know, that meant, I mean, I don't know if it's sold out now, but because she talked about it, <laughs> good luck finding it. <laughs> um, so, you know what, I will put one on here. That'll be kind of fun. So we'll put these on there. This tool has been great, and I love the price of it. So, all right, put these ones away. I know, isn't that gorgeous, Sharon? That amethyst is stunning. They're all super pretty. The other one I really love, let me just grab it out. Oh my gosh, this one is the Melanite Magic. Check that out. It's it, I think it's supposed to be like black, but it almost has rainbow hue to it. It is so pretty, and I think it's even prettier in person. Oh, golly, they're so pretty. Hi, Mandy. Oh, it's your first time joining in on one of the lives. Oh, I'm glad you're having a good time. Welcome, welcome. So, all right, now the next one would be the Amethyst Accent. Oh, golly, look at that. And we're just gonna line that up here with the purple, just to add a little something, something. And one more. And I like how there's all these different sizes too, which is great. Okay, let's bring, I'm gonna bring it down, this one down just a little bit more. Oops. I'm trying to bounce, I am not good with my left hand here. And then we'll put this one here. And then this last one will go on. Okay. All right. There we go. So there it is. That is an easy fun fold card to make. Hello, the ink and garden spot. How are you? Still at work. I'm glad you jumped in. Oh, you newbies. I bet you're a lot better at this than you think you might be. Okay. That's right, Kitty is traveling. And she said she wasn't gonna chat, but she's chatting, so. Um, yeah, so here it is. This is an easy fun fold. I love the result of this. And you know, it's nice and flat other than your jewels and you know, putting it up on foam squares, a couple things, but check that out. So you just, just like that. Isn't that fun? I love it. Yes, I love using bling on my cards too. Clearly, I just can't get enough of it. You haven't used sequins yet? 
yeah, I can't help it. I, I, I feel like, and I don't, I guess I don't always do it on the inside as well, but I really love to do it. It's one of my favorite things to do. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Nina. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it does sort of look like little pockets, doesn't it? That's fun. Yeah. So we have been, you're trying anyway. Uh, thank you, Deanna. Thanks, Laura. Yes, um, I had a, uh, so much fun doing this. So um, I don't have the measurements down below, but if you need me to, I can absolutely put that down there if I remember. I always say I'm gonna do it after, and then I always seem to forget. But again, this is just an A2 size card, and you can adapt it however. You could do this with a circle. You could do it with just about any shape, but you, you just need a shape that will work to be able to fit on the fold of the card like that. Yep, I'll definitely be making more of these. All right, everybody. Yes, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Um, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I try to do these once a week on Fridays, 5 o'clock Eastern time. I won't be doing it next week because we will be in the midst of camping, but the following week I will. So, um, And then I'm on Trinity Stamps' YouTube channel every other week. So I was there this last Wednesday. If you want to check that one out, you can head to their channel. If you and then subscribe and i'm there typically every other week doing that as well so yeah thanks guys uh and i'm gonna go help my daughter make a little dinner because we gotta feed some folks but i hope you guys have a great weekend and i will see you again bye everybody